Hello and welcome to this Ethical Hacking Tools with Python video. Today we start coding. In this lesson I'm going to briefly tell you about the prerequisites that you need to successfully complete uh, this and the following lessons. Then I'm going to give you an outline of what our code is going to be about. And of course the fun part, we're going to start building the script for active information gathering. Now starting with the prerequisites, you need a working installation of Python 3. And uh, depending on your system, you're going to have uh, different instructions. Then you will install the Python Nmap module. Then you need a code editor. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code and I suggest you do the same. And that's it. That's all you need. Now please make sure to check the guide and resources document accompanying this video for instructions on these prerequisites. So what are we going to code? We want to use Python Nmap to extract specific information about the target and then output the information we get to a file using Python built-in methods. One of the assessments we'll do is fingerprinting the operating system. And there are multiple ways to do it. We could just do it from scratch in Python by initiating ping commands and analyzing TTL or time to live responses and also doing traceroute to determine the number of hops. Then we would add uh, that number, both of those numbers to a sum and check the sum in a list of predetermined values. Now that would take a lot of coding. Another alternative is to use Scapy, which is a Python library for network analysis. However, it might be a bit tricky for you to configure it. So we'll just keep things simple. We'll use Nmap for OS fingerprinting as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Now I'm moving into Visual Studio Code here and we're going to start by importing nmap and then we're going to import sys for command line arguments okay because we're going to provide the target as a command line argument and first we're going to instantiate a scanner so we'll just name the variable nmscan we're going to look into nmap port scanner okay and then we run the scan method providing the target and the port as well as additional parameters. So we create another variable for that. nmscanner is going to use nmscan, so the port scanner that we instantiated, to scan the target that's going to be provided at sysc argv1 at port 80 with the arguments, with the additional arguments of minus O, which is for OS fingerprinting. Now do take note that this is a guess. So to be more accurate in OS fingerprinting, you might want to cross check using other tools. Okay, now the result of this scan operation is going to be a dictionary. And what we want from that dictionary is the state of the host, up or down, the state of the port, open, closed or filtered, the scanning method as well as the operating system it guesses. So I've already, uh, to have you better understand this, I've already repeated uh, these uh, commands into a Python interpreter shell over here and uh, I'm also uh, using pprint which was imported above to actually uh, print this dictionary. So if we look at the type of nm scanner that's going to be a dictionary okay so um, from this dictionary like i said we want the state of the host and the port the method of scanning as well as the operating system it guessed so we'll just say print the host is plus nm scanner and it's going to look into the scan over here into the scan and then we have to look into the IP 172.217.2014 so first we look at the state of the host so then we look into the status and then we look into the state okay and there you have it so the host is up next we want to look at the port so we, we went into uh, nmap scan 172 and then we went into the status and then the state now we want to look into tcp 80 and state 
for the state of the port which is open and then for the method of scanning we want to look into the reason so we'll just uh, repeat the following command with a few minor modifications so we'll say the port 80 is and then we look into not the status but the TCP and then we look at the 80 okay and then we look into the state all right so the port 80 is open now we want to look not at the state but at the reason to get the method so we're just gonna say the scanning method is and then we just run this command the scanning method is synac now for os uh, fingerprinting we're going to use uh, string literals so string methods the let's say there is percent s percent chance that the host is running percent s and we're going to fill in with uh, whatever we want to have instead of these percent s's so we're going to look in uh, nmap we're going to look into so we're going to look into nm scanner and then scan and then the ip 172.217.2014 and then we want to look into the OS match and accuracy for the percentage and then the name for the operating system so um, we'll look into the OS match 0 then accuracy okay and the second for the operating system is this name we'll look into NM scanner scan and then the IP 172.217.2014 and then we look into OS match again zero so you want to be sure that nothing is misspelled here mistyped zero and then we look into the name okay so hopefully I have everything correctly over here and then we close the first parenthesis from here and the second parenthesis from the print and then we hit enter so there is 89% chance that the host is running open BSD 4.3 so it took this one 89% chance and the name over here and there you have it so let's stop uh, here for now we'll standardize the entire process and finish building our script in the next lesson but before we go let's uh, actually do a quick uh, knowledge check so what argument in nmap allows us to do os fingerprinting is it a minus s b minus d or c minus o now if you've been paying close attention to the demonstration you know that when we passed arguments to the nmap scanner in python we used arguments equals minus O. So C is the right answer. In review, in this lesson, we looked at the prerequisites you need. And I have to remind you once again to check the guide and resources document accompanying this video for further instructions on installing the requirements. Okay, and then uh, what we also did is to start working on the tool that will use the Python Nmap library for active information gathering. In the next lesson, we will continue working on this tool. I'm Christian, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.